As game collectors, we're always looking for a great deal. You have to check everywhere. Garage sales, pawn shops, thrift stores, eBay. You check prices on price charting, but does anybody check Amazon? Today we're gonna talk about checking Amazon for games and seeing if we can get retro games at a better price. This is not going to be your buying guide for getting a steal of a deal, but this may be your buying guide for getting it at a reduced price and actually finding something you've been searching for, potentially, for a long time. We were on the hunt for three I would call expensive or high-end games. Yeah. And we do our typical thing. We check around town. I check on eBay a lot. We I have... always cross-check price charting to make sure because yep. the, the market fluctuates a lot. You know me, I'm trying to finish off my Xbox collection. So yep. I got a couple of games from Xbox collection that's a little high-end. And uh, you know, PS3 had taken a big spike Absolutely. so uh, I was on the hunt for a few of them we found one of them we we're gonna take a look and see if on Amazon can you get retro games for an affordable price is it worth it I look at it this way I look at it more like we're comparing Amazon prices to eBay prices because when I talk to collectors especially through the YouTube community if you mention Amazon they just whoa yeah. those prices are just outrageous and, astronomical and for the most part yeah it's for the true. most part this should not be your benchmark no for what a game is actually worth now i have checked games online we just recently got a new toy we got a vr mm -hmm. for our ps4 and there was a few games i really wanted to get well it was like <laughs> 300 plus dollars and i'm yeah. like this is not a 300 dollar game but it nobody has any copies, Amazon can do whatever the hell they want because they're Amazon. Well, it's individual sellers on Amazon, It, it right? is individual sellers on Amazon, yep. yes. So it kind of like your eBay, you can price competitively to the market, so yep. there's not many copies. You can price it however you want. I feel like the sellers on eBay may have to uh, be a little more reasonable, mm -hmm. have a little better customer service because yep. they're under Amazon and if anybody knows, buy things through Amazon. They have a great return policy. Yes, and usually for the most customer part. service is really good. We're going to talk about that yep. a little bit later. We had to go through customer service for one of these games, and we'll mention why. You know, if you want to check out Amazon, check out price charting at the same time. Check out eBay. Get yeah. your median rate for what a game goes for, and then go on Amazon. Yep and figure out if it's worth it. Be educated on what you're trying to collect Always for, be obviously. educated. Yeah. Always be educated. So should we just get into the three games that we picked up on yeah, Amazon? Yeah, so. I think so. First one, this one I've been looking for for a while. It's Fatal Frame. Yes. Now, reason why did you pick it up on Amazon? Because all these purchases were yours. It, they were all my purchases. The reason I picked it up on Amazon, to be quite honest, I was having a devil of a time finding a complete copy. They would either have the disc and not have the manual or the disc would be in bad shape or the artwork itself would just not be great. And I found a copy that was in fantastic shape. The you guys won't be able to tell, but, but I'll take great. pictures of everything. Yep. The disc was in fantastic shape. The Manuals manual was in great, in great shape. shape. Amazon shipping times are oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Here. They're awesome. This is less than a week. Yeah, everything here was less than yeah. a week coming yeah. to us, and some of them were even like three, four days. Now we have our, uh, what is it called? Amazon Prime. Prime membership. Yeah, and we're not, forever. we don't have an affiliate link for no, Amazon. We're we not don't. like, this is just our video yep. from our experiences. We try to be as real we're as collectors, we're just kind of helping you out because there is one game that you might still be able to get on Amazon for cheaper, way cheaper than it's going yeah. on eBay. This wasn't a steal of a deal. You paid, but it, I feel, what price charting is. I paid price charting yes. for it and I didn't feel sad about it because I knew what I was getting was legit and was all complete and in the condition I wanted it in. And if it wasn't, you could return it. And if it wasn't, for the most part on Amazon, you can return things. Yep. And I like that most times, the return shipping is free. 
Yes. They and just email you uh, basically a barcode. Yeah. And then you send label. it right back. Yep. You send it right back. Which is where this one comes into play. Yes. Now we haven't gotten the new one yet. There's a story. Of, There's a this story. One. I'll just get the game out right now. Oh. It's Drekengard 3. On the PS3. Now, you said the listing was it was brand new sealed. sealed. And it is. And it technically is, but the seal's broken. It's a bit ripped. There's a rip across it. And I was like, well, uh, this game is, is a little pricey. It is. I don't know what it goes for pricey. on price charting. I think you can get it for, well, I know you can get it as of today as we're recording this for $80 US. Yes. I think it was like $96.53 or something like that. We paid in Se Canadian dollars. $79.99. $79.99. Brand new. I don't know how, how that, because it's Amazon.ca. I don't know if it's Amazon.ca and Amazon.com is two different. Some sellers do ship to Canada, so it's listed on both. Yeah. So we got that one for, like I said, 80 bucks. Yep. Um, I, I was planning didn't on... care at first because I didn't know he was planning on keeping it sealed. Yeah. Now, I know you guys are like, well, why would you want to keep a sealed game? I because we can get it digitally. I for... typically don't no, get we typically sealed don't. games, but where this one is seems to, well, the whole PS3 market is just kind of yeah. gone up. So what I did was contact Amazon customer service. They were so helpful it was ridiculous and she said to me now we could go through you know different means but i think the fastest way for you to get a new copy would be to order a new one there's still ones available she checked for me and i said is it available at the same price i paid for this one she said yes it is sealed because that's what i was asking for and so she said go ahead and order that i'm already going to put this through as a return and i'm like and before i even got it out of my mouth she said, don't worry, you do not have to return it till you have the new one in your hand. You have X amount of days. And yes. it's a long return policy because I've used some products before where I'm like, you know what? I'm just not as satisfied as I wish I would have been. And I buy a lot on Amazon because it's, yeah. it's so much easier for me. I have a busy life. Get this, like I said, you can get this on eBay right now. It's $79.99 US. But it was 90, what did I say, 96, yeah. 53 or whatever Canadian? Plus the shipping, plus the import charges. Yeah, we typically, if it's from the States, we get nail on the import charges Always. and stuff like that. So another reason to get it on Amazon was better. Yeah. Um, but that was a buy now option. Same day, there's an auction one. And it is over $127 with five days remaining. Yeah people you gotta go and check go like don't just go auctions people are just i think it's trying to the outbid each other of the hunt it's the bid, crazy. bidding war that pushes our prices up to collect go exactly. just do a search if there's a buy now option get a buy now option sometimes you can make offers on stuff yeah that just shows me that people aren't really researching to see what the value is on it now right. this next game i think I is probably the highest on your list shocked that you got this for the price you got it. I don't even know that you were out of bed yet. And the first yeah. thing I said to you is, you can't buy games for a month. Don't look on eBay, because I have to buy these for you. They're too good a deal. Then we bought a VR. Then we bought, but we got that for a really good deal and we're gonna use our PC points. This game, I've never seen it around here at all. Mm -mm. Never. Never. I bought my copy of it on the PS2 yeah. on eBay. Yeah. That was a few years ago. This is one of my heavy hitters for my Xbox collection. Yes. Outrun 2006, coast to coast. I have the Outrun 2, absolutely loved it. Yeah. This one typically on eBay goes for around $300 mark. or more. Yeah. So, and a lot of the times it's not complete. And this one is complete and minty that barely Beautiful. looks like the it yep. doesn't even look like the manual was looked at no like it doesn't even look like the spine was cracked on it and i guess well, we should record, mention record works record works and i do believe they are in the u.s uh yeah the only thing that's not really there's no is you can tell that it's an xbox 360 case and who the hell cares about I'll that i'll switch that out but yeah if, if i is. saved that i'm gonna tell you guys what i paid for it so it's still a lot of money to pay for a game 
if you're someone that wants to get like an amazing deal, you want to find it for like five dollars at a garage sale. It's not gonna happen. That that, that I it's don't know. Few people, and far between. That is like unicorns and Bigfoots right now. Exactly. Because everybody with a phone can look this up. Yes, I paid a hundred eighty nine dollars for it. Mm -hmm. And if I gotta go in a dollar bin and get a case, an Xbox case, and switch it out. That's and if that's the difference for that's the price, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Like, that's a really good deal. That game is a game we're not going to see a lot. We're... It's, uh, it's so hard to it's find. It's a hard to find game. And our it's... Xbox collection is probably our prized possession collection. Right, yeah, for it, me, for sure. Yes. I'm, like, coming up on the end of my collecting for it for the most part yeah, because I have a, a little sad. I have a certain section of my game room yeah. that is for Xbox and I think I can only get maybe 300 games in there yeah maybe. yeah I don't know if you even get 300 games in there I don't know and either. it's full it's full so, so some games have to come out if I get something new something old has to leave that mm -hmm. maybe is just filler so. yeah That's... it could be a whole different series of <laughs> it could be it could be. Yeah. But yeah, those are the three games we got. I I don't regret spending the money. I, I, I never spent it, so. <laughs> well, it was our <laughs> money. So yeah, you kind of did. You just yeah. physically didn't press, you know, order. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching again. And until next time, we're cheersing with coffee. All You've right. got water. Got water. Game on. Game on.